Good morning, everybody. It's 53 degrees. Yesterday at this time we were in the 30s, so it's a little bit milder. I think some of you might need a light jacket, but that's about it because it's going to warm up very nicely today up to about the upper 70s, almost 80 degrees in some inland areas. Humidity is also increasing today, so you'll feel a little bit of that moisture. By tomorrow morning at this time, we're probably going to be looking at some dense fog as the Gulf air rolls in. We got up to 71 yesterday. Uh, that's actually about where we're supposed to be this time of year. Uh, but as we get into the weekend, we're going to start pushing 80 degrees. Right now you can see how pretty much everybody's got a gentle southeast wind. Of course that comes in off the Gulf water and that brings that back some of that moisture. Now the temperatures over our area and most of Texas will be above normal today. In fact, above seasonal. In fact, we're going to be probably in the 80s throughout much of the state. But this is in advance of the next big storm that's uh, moving in our direction over the next few days. Here's where we are today with most of this being high level clouds, not really low level, not, not, not an ugly day, but I'm saying mostly sunny. Uh, here is the storm we're talking about. It is a very big complex of storms. This one is just moving on shore to San Francisco and it's got this frontal system. But this front is dig digging down so far down into the tropics that when it arrives in West Texas, it's going to give us a southwest wind. Well, that comes off the landmass for us off the mountains of Mexico and uh, heats us up and dries us out. So when it, the front gets here, we won't have anything to work with in terms of precipitation. These are the current temperatures across the country in the 50s for us, but it's uh, still quite cold in uh, North Dakota. But then all of our winter visitors, uh, they know that. That's why they're here at the Bob Hall Pier today. Anyway, so we're looking for sunny skies, high level clouds rolling in. You'll see a little bit of cloud deck, no significant problems. And then we watch this. OK, so we get to Thursday, pretty much the same thing. Friday, still on the warm side. Then we get to Saturday it will be the windiest and warmest day as we pick up that southwest wind ahead of that front. The front should be here on Sunday morning. And then all of a sudden uh, we're back into the soup. Uh, what does that mean? Well, remember that weekend where it was just just ugly? Yeah, uh, we'll be like that next week. So uh, enjoy the sunshine while you can. And today, for whatever your Valentine plans are, it's going to be a good looking day. We're going to call it mostly sunny with a high of 77. Then tomorrow, 78, 79, 80 degrees. Uh, Saturday will probably be the warmest. And it's also going to be quite breezy ahead of the front. Front comes through early on Saturday morning. Temperatures begin to fall to mild. And then look at this, damp and cool for early next week with highs barely in the low 60s. So don't give up on uh, spring yet, but it's just not here right now. Your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy.